Welcome to Archiversity Online Lectures. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate, analyze and interpret inventory turnover ratio. For this purpose, I choose profit and loss account and balance sheet of two real companies. One is a defense manufacturer in India and the second one is agro-based company in India. Using financial statements of these two companies, I will show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret inventory turnover ratio. Inventory turnover ratio is an efficiency ratio which helps middle management especially the operations managers to analyze how effectively they are able to convert their inventory into a sales. Since the higher the ratio in the sense uh, the quickly the inventory is converted into cash that is one and second is that inventory turnover ratio is also used to calculate inventory conversion period and which is used again in the estimation of a working capital requirements. So the inventory turnover ratio has a multiple uh, benefits. One is to understand how quickly the company is able to convert its inventory into sales or generate revenues. And second one is this ratio will also help you to calculate the uh, number of days it is taking to convert inventory conversion period. And finally, this will help you to calculate uh, working capital estimation. So inventory turnover ratio is calculated with the two equations. One is uh, uh, net sales upon average inventory or alternatively you can use equation net sales upon closing inventory. So I prefer this one because uh, when we analyze the companies independently uh, we may have a data for only particular year. So it is better to use that particular year's closing inventory and compare it with the net sales. If you are calculating an average inventory mean then you need to have a balance sheet so for two financial years so that average inventory is calculated as uh, opening inventory plus closing inventory upon 2. So this is how you can calculate the average inventory and use as a denominator in calculating the inventory turnover ratio. So this is the textbook definition. However, when you open the profit and loss account and balance sheet of a company, you will not find any item with the name net sales or uh, uh, net sales. Inventory will be there, but you will not find any item with the net sales. So in a real company's annual uh, reports, you will find revenue from operations. So revenue from operations need to be considered as net sales whereas from this amount you will find in a uh, profit and loss account of a company or a statement of a profit and loss account whereas inventory inventories you will find in balance sheet of a, a company so that means to calculate the inventory turnover ratio you need to have these two statements one is the statement of a profit and loss account then a balance sheet using the statement of profit and loss account and a balance sheet of hindustan aeronautical limited this is an uh, defense product uh, defense uh, products manufacturing company in india they do research and development they develop uh, 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 aeronautical related defense related uh, uh, equipment and supply supply the country's uh, defenses defense forces so here is a uh, st uh, standalone statement of a profit and loss account and here from a profit and loss account you will find a total income we ignore other income we consider only revenue from operations because the revenue from operations is a net sales so all the amounts are in here in the rupees lakhs and this is for the two years 2019 and 2020 here we have a revenue from operations why is that we are excluding uh, other income i will show you in a while then this your numerator you will get it from a, stand, a statement of a profit and loss account and here we have a values for a two years then coming to your uh, denominator denominator that is your inventories you will get it from a balance sheet that to current assets so here is a balance sheet and you can see the current assets of the company and here you will find the inventories so here are the inventories for 2020 and 2019 here you have a inventories for 2018 also so if three years data is available then you can calculate average inventory and then use as a denominator because you can take an average of these two and use that value for 2019 and you can take an average of these two and calculate for a 2020 but uh, i prefer uh, uh, only uh, year wise because you don't find much difference in the inventory so it is uh, 19 lakhs 45,392 lakhs and here it is 19 lakhs 68,477 there is no much difference even if you take average also it comes to more or less the same so that is the reason why I prefer using only the particular years closing inventory as a denominator so here we have a two inventory denominator values now why is that uh, uh, we need to consider only revenue from operations is here you can see the sale of uh, products, inland sales, finished goods, space, development, miscellaneous 
and you have export sales so sale of services export sales these are all the various sources from which the company generated revenue so total operating revenue or revenue from operations you have a values here so we consider these values now why we are excluding other income is if you observe here other income comes in the form of a interest income so your inventories are nowhere related to your interest uh, income or your uh, deposits in the banks or uh, advances to employees advances other deposits or a dividend income so these are no way related to your inventories that is the reason why we exclude other income in calculating inventory turnover ratio now here you can see the inventories so inventories in the form of raw materials inventories in the form of work in process inventories in the form of finished goods stock in trade stores and space loose tools equipment these are all uh, different uh, inventories that the company have but uh, ultimately we consider the total inventories for the two financial years 19 and 20 using these two values we will calculate the inventory turnover ratio then uh, using that we can cal cal calculate uh, conversion period also that is inventory conversion period i'll show you how to calculate that also so here we'll take uh, for a financial years 20 19 and uh, 20 20 first we'll take our net sales so net sales is here 2847 then uh, 214 Three eight three eight. All these in in lakhs. That is two hundred twenty one lakhs forty three thousand eight hundred thirty three lakhs. And here twenty lakhs eight hundred forty seven uh, lakhs is the amount. Then your denominator is your inventory. So numerator is your revenue upon inventory. So inventory you will get from a balance sheet. So you already we identified the inventory which is. Uh, in the current assets, so this is nineteen lakh sixty eight thousand four seventy seven, nineteen lakh sixty eight thousand four hundred seventy seven lakhs, all right, in rupees. And then for twenty twenty nineteen forty five three ninety two, nineteen forty five forty five three ninety two. So using these two values, we'll calculate uh, inventory turnover ratio. So here this is two thousand eight forty seven upon nineteen sixty eight four seventy seven. So one times inventory turnover ratio is one times here, and uh, for twenty twenty two one four three eight three eight upon one nine four five three nine two. 1.1 more or less the same so 1 times so that means on an average your inventory is converting into revenue one times in a year in the sense uh, if you have an inventory of a 1 rupee uh, it will convert into a cash uh, only one time it is converting into a cash now using this inventory turnover ratio we can calculate inversion inventory conversion period that mean inventory conversion period that mean how many days it is taking for your inventory to convert into a, a cash or a revenue so inventory conversion period this equals to 365 this is the number of days in a year upon inventory turnover ratio so here your uh, inventory uh, turnover ratio is one time so that mean 365 days so the inventory conversion period is 365 days So this is a very huge uh, inventory uh, conversion period. That means the company's inventories are converted into revenue once in a year. That is, a it is taking 365 days for the company to convert its inventories into a sales or a, a revenue. This is uh, because uh, the company is a defense manufacturer and a defense product manufacturer, and they put a lot of uh, investment and uh, the, in a, a re, a designing and developing of a product. and then manufacturing it it it, uh, it is a very complicated process that is the reason why uh, it i guess it is taking a complete one year time that is a, a time for a company to convert its inventory into a, a revenue so this is how you need to calculate the uh, revenue that is a inventory turnover ratio and inventory con conversion period now i'll give you another example where uh, you can find a uh, different uh, inventory turnover uh, ratios this is uh, uh, for a company named as hatson so hatson agro products limited this is uh, majorly into uh, milk and uh, milk products major revenue is 
milk and the milk uh, products so for this company we will calculate the inventory turnover ratio and uh, then uh, calculate inventory conversion period also here again uh, we have a uh, values for two financial years 2019 and 2020 so revenue from operations are here so all the revenue from operations are in rupees uh, lakhs and as usual we ignore uh, other income because other income comes from uh, investment into financial assets which are not a core activities of the uh, company so these are the revenue from operations then uh, you will get uh, inventories from a balance sheet of a company under the current assets heading so here you have a current assets and here are the inventories so we have uh, inventories here then we will see where exactly the revenue is coming from so revenue from operations you can see the revenue from a sale of a products this is the amount and uh, other operating revenue that is export benefits app value all right then uh, you can see here the accounting standards here according to which the company uh, manufactured so it clearly indicates that the company is into milk and milk products all right and uh, you can see the inventories here inventories in the form of raw materials and packaging work in process finished goods manufactured traded and stores so total inventory values are here so using these values we'll calculate uh, inventory turnover ratio first then we calculate the inventory conversion period and we'll see whether uh, what is the inventory turnover ratio and conversion period for a uh, agro product company so here first we take the revenue that is your net sales and upon inventories so net sales are 476,020 let us say 30 lakhs and uh, 530,833 lakhs this upon your uh, inventories so here we have our uh, inventories we take from a balance sheet so 40,340 40,340 here and then 37,395 or 37,396 using these values we will calculate the inventory turnover ratio so approximately this is I guess 10 times 476,030 upon 40,340 so this is 11.8 just of our purpose of our ease of a calculation we consider this is a as a 12 times and for 2020 this is uh, 53833 upon 37 396 so 14 times 14 times so you can see here in case of a 2019 the company was able to uh, convert its inventories into revenue 12 times and here, here in a 2020 it was able to convert its inventories into revenues 14 times so this is a very uh, high so in the sense the speed of a conversion of inventories into revenues is high in case of a milk and milk products company now using these values we can we calculate inventory conversion period so inventory conversion period is 365 upon inventory turnover ratio so for uh, 2019 and uh, 2020 so this is uh, 365 upon 12 and then uh, 365 upon 14 so that means 365 upon uh, 12 so 30 days so here it is 30 days in the sense within a 30 days the company was able to convert its inventories into revenue in the year 2019 as in 2020 upon 14 so 26 days 26 days so that means the company was able to improve its inventory turnover ratio so there is a, there is a four days of improvement here in the sense the lesser the inventory turnover uh, sorry the lesser the inventory conversion period the better it would be in this case the inventory uh, conversion period was 30 days in uh, 2019 and 26 days in a 2020 so there is a improvement in inventory conversion period of hats and agro products in the financial year 2020 this is one and second one is the speed with which the company is converting its inventories into revenues is also high because this is a, a perishable product and uh, which has got a high demand in the market so the company was able to quickly convert its uh, inventories into revenue by looking at these two examples it is very clear that uh, for some companies the inventory turnover will be very uh, low that is in case of uh, Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited we saw that the inventory turnover is only one that is the inventory conversion period is 365 days 
On the other side, uh, when if you look at the agro-based company for which the inventory turnover ratio is a 12 times in one year and a 14 times in uh, another year, and the conversion period is 30 days in one year and 26 days in a another year. That means the inventory is converting or into revenues very quickly in agro-based. That means uh, you should not blindly rely on uh, the number of a days or uh, the uh, times at which it takes to convert in, in inventory. It depends on company to company uh, and it depends on uh, one industry to other industry. Especially uh, highly uh, complicated or high capital intensive and high uh, product in the sense uh, equipment based companies like HAL, the inventory turnover will be uh, low as a one time, one time we saw. And on the other side, the companies like uh, milk and milk products, which are uh, uh, agro-based products and which have a quick uh, uh, turnover, in those cases, the inventory turnover ratio will be very high. So based on this, the companies can plan for uh, their working capital. So here in case of Hudson, it requires a working capital only for a 30 days time. Whereas uh, on the other side, uh, in case of a Hindu and Aeronauticals Limited, it requires working capital to maintain inventory for one year. So the working capital requirement of Hindustan Aeronauticals will be very high when comparing with working capital requirements of Hudson. So this is how you need to uh, calculate, analyze and interpret inventory turnover ratio. Thank you. Thank you for watching to the lecture.